my thought now is it's it's cool. We've shown some two axis or some three axis stuff. We've shown a complicated mold. I, I'd kind of like to just I don't know that we need to teach too much about it, but I want yep. people to understand that full five axis simulation is in fact supported also. This isn't this isn't the rinky dink Kia Rio of simulation. This this is a supercharged Mustang. And I'd kind of like to just showcase that a little bit, if you don't mind, Ryan. Yeah, certainly. And um, yeah, obviously we we recognize not everyone's running a, a standard, you know, three axis mill or three axis parts, right? And so um, yeah, any three to five axis, three, four, or five axis um, is certainly supported as 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 part of this, of course. So um, yeah, this is just a a sample path that I had. Um, or part, I should say, you know, going over some, um, you know, actual true five axis simulation. Um, obviously, like Jason said, I'm not going to go ahead and, and actually go through the training portion of it. It would be the exact same uh, process as those first two parts. Um, and I'm also not going to bore you with actually doing the post processing of the code either. So I, um, I did save us a little bit of time and steps on that um, and, and going to, again, load that up within our uh, side of things. So because I opened up that actual part itself, I can choose whether I want to do a back plot or a machine simulation by itself. Um, the machine simulation, of course, is going to load in the actual machine models um, and again, do all the collision checking and things of that nature. So in, um, in something like this, uh, we could go ahead and kind of clean up that view a little bit and uh, kind of get an idea of what's going on there. Uh, but same thing, you know, we'd certainly be able to run through uh, that by itself and kind of take a look at the, you know, roughing of material and, and everything there like usual. Um, in this particular case, I should have a bookmark down to some five axis stuff. Um, and of course, you'll see the actual stock and everything update up to that point. And then, of course, uh, we could certainly play that through and do some uh, simultaneous five axis motion and movement uh, for it as well. And you can step that you know, line by line if you wanna actually see if there's a specific area of the part you wanna check, especially with you know, maybe a rougher you know, up to this point, not being able to clear out these areas. You know, again, just different areas that we could uh, you know, certainly, um, certainly do that with. So. Sorry, yeah, sorry. No, I was just going to say, and, and we have something called a reverse post processor. So, uh, you know, as a traditional post processor, a master cam would generate the code. We obviously have one too that would actually read the code and know how to interpret, you know, interpret that as well. Uh, so it's all obviously doing all those calculations live, you know, obviously on the fly as, as well. So. Well, it is moving X, Y, Z, B, and C moves on this UMC 750. So I like that. It's not. This is not just some low-powered VF3 solution. This is it's a full five-axis simulation. 